In order to understand e-filing, it is important to know why court papers are filed in the first place. Filing court papers. Filing court paperwork is one of the basic steps in opening a case in court. You must file legal documents that tell the court what the dispute is and what you are asking for. Both sides of a court case must then file more documents to give the court the information it needs to make a decision. There may also be court hearings or a trial where you can present witnesses or present your case verbally. The written documents you file are a crucial part of any case. Without them, there would be no case in court. Filing your documents with the court can now be done electronically. It is called e-filing. Why should I e-file? E-filing allows you to file your forms from the comfort of your own home. You can avoid the long lines of getting through courthouse security and at the filing windows. Also, you will not have to pay for parking costs. E-filing, short for electronic filing, lets you file your case online using a computer without physically going to the courthouse. You have a choice of many e-filing service providers or EFSPs. These are different companies to help you file your documents electronically. Below is the link to access a list of electronic filing service providers for family law. Each ESFP differs in terms of services and pricing, so you should shop around this list to find the one that suits your needs. How do I get started? As a self-represented litigant, you may try Odyssey Guide and File Guided Interviews or other resources to create your documents for filing. You will find a link to Odyssey Guide and File on the self-help website or enter the following link into your web browser. Tell me more about Odyssey Guide and File. Odyssey Guide and File is a guided interview that will help you fill out the forms you want to file. For family law cases, Odyssey Guide and File will assist you to e-file after you have completed the guided interview. First, pick the type of filing you would like to complete. Types of filings available to you include requesting a divorce separation or nullity, respond to a divorce legal separation or nullity, eviction, unlawful detainer, income and expense declaration, petition for appointment of guardianship, petition to establish parentage or custody and support, request for order, child custody, visitation and or support, requesting a limited conservatorship, restraining orders, small claims. After the legal document is generated from you answering a series of questions using Odyssey Guide and File, you can then review the document before proceeding with using an EFSP to e-file with the court. Service of process. Note that you need to have someone else serve the other party with a copy of the e-file documents according to the applicable court rules. E-filing fees and fee waiver. There are fees associated with filing documents electronically. You can apply for a fee waiver when you set up your e-file account. When submitting filings, you will be able to select waiver from the payment account drop-down menu. The court will still need to qualify you for a fee waiver for your e-filing. What can I e-file? You can e-file for family law, civil, probate mental health, and small claims matters. To get started with family law e-filing, enter this link into your browser. To get started with civil e-filing, enter this link into your browser. To get started with probate mental health e-filing, enter this link into your browser. To select an approved EFSP for small claims e-filing, enter this link into your browser. Not only is e-filing an efficient and effective way to conduct court business for both you and the court, it is also very convenient for you since you can file from the comfort of your home. Another online resource for you is Law Help Interactive, which can help you fill out court forms and other legal documents for yourself, a friend, or a family member. Now you know how to e-file. Please visit our self-help website for more information at 